In this episode, let's talk about one of the interesting power of this expression, group by. Group by function has many different use cases. So let's get started. But before that, if you haven't followed me on my Twitter and Instagram for the short content, then please do follow me. Here I am on my machine and here you can see that I have a data like this, country, city and population. Now for that, I have a very simple collection over here. So this is my original data collection where I have city, country and population, these three columns. Now here I want to group by country, which means that let's say if it is Germany, then both of these things have one row called Germany and underneath that there are two different cities and populations, right? So how we can perform group by operation? Let's have a look. So let me take a button control over here and let me write out the code for that. I'm going to on select event of that. So first of all, I will write an expression group by over here, group by. So the first parameter of group by statement is source. So here, this is my source. So let me copy this name city populations. Then based on which column you want to group by, that is something you need to provide comma and let's provide by country. Let's select that. And after that, what is the group name that you want? So let's have a comma and let me provide a group name as cities. You can provide any name over here and finish the bracket. So your group by statement is ready. And now when you hover over it, it will show you the group by values. See, this is how it is looking like country, one row and inside that another table cities. Okay. But now for a debugging purpose, I'm storing that inside one of my collection. So let's have clear collect. And inside that, let me provide a name collection group by country. And let me finish the bracket. So we are done. And the final formula is looking like this. Cool. Now let's click on the button. And let's have a look how the value will look like. Go to this section and now open the collection and check call group by country and view table. When we view this table, you can see that this is country, this is cities. And when we open up anything here, you can see in Germany, three cities are there, right? Cool. Amazing. Right now, let me talk about the interesting use case about this. So many times it is a possibility that you need to represent the single row of your data inside the table. And after that, when they click on that, you wanted to show its child record. So in that kind of scenario, this group by function is really useful to you. Consider an example that if you want to create parent child list, like parent has all the parent record like all the countries and when you click on that uh, in the another gallery or another table you wanted to show its country cities so at that time also this is really really useful okay now let me talk about another interesting thing that let's say this is the group by result now let's say if you want to ungroup your result then how can you do that Sometimes you are getting the different value from your actual data sources in this format. Like you have any one column over here and after that you have uh, your group column and inside that it is whole set of metadata displayed. So if you want to ungroup them, then how can you do that? Let's have a look. So for that, I am taking one more button control over here and let's revamp the same value as an ungroup format. So let me copy the source over here. So this is my source. Let's copy that. And now let's do ungrouping over here. So for ungroup, we, you need to use a function ungroup where you need to provide the name of your data source. So I'm providing this as a data source, then group name, what group name you want to ungroup. So the group name here is city. How can you identify that using this one? So when you open your source, this is your uh, original column and this is your group column. So same name you want to apply over there. So let's apply that. So over here, let's type cities. And done. 
okay and after that let's do one thing it is throwing me an error because i have written this code on text event instead of that let's add on select let's apply the code and here we are see now if i hover over it you can see the result see it is reverted back isn't it cool right now uh, you can store the same thing in the collection and do whatever you want so uh, i'm leave it to you okay now let me talk about one more use case here let's say sometimes what happen here is you wanted to show the result in a form that uh, let's say main data is your country and after that you want to show the summation okay so at that time as well group by will really helpful to you let me explain you how so let me take one button over here so here what we will do is simply let's say if there is a country germany then what is the population of germany including all the cities how can we identify that let's have a look so first of all what i'm doing here is whatever code we have written over here for group by statement i will keep that as is okay and after that i will add one more column for summation okay so just consider group by is same and after that we will do add columns inside that okay so let's have a do so i am clicking on my button and clicking on on select event and now let me paste the same code first so this is my group by okay on group by let's do our add columns so i am using a function add columns in the bracket first parameter is source so source is my group by result then comma and we need to provide the name of the new column that you want to create so i am providing sum of population and then you need to provide an expression so i am providing an expression sum and inside the sum you need to provide the source so over here the source is cities column okay and from cities column i want to do the summation of population column so let's pick up that complete the bracket and finish the stuff okay so the final formula is looking like this so we created an additional column for the aggregation and let's have a look so when we hover over it you can see that for each country it is showing me that isn't it cool that makes my life really easy now let's store this result in collection and let's have a look so clear collect call population comma and let's finish the bracket let's format the text and this is how it looks like let me click on the button again and let's have a look let's click on that let's view table and this is how it will look like and now let's print that inside the gallery so this is one data table control i have let me change the store call population let me print out country and summation of its city right so this is looking really cool and amazing and look group by as an aggregation makes your life much more easier right so these are the different use cases where group by and ungroup function will useful to you hope this video helps you and values your time if so hit thumbs up and subscribe my channel looking for any training or consultation the website link is available on the channel cover right page also don't forget to follow me in my twitter and instagram because these are the platform where i'm uploading short content on power platform with this This is Truvin signing off. See you in the next session with some amazing content. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.